You'll remember that when we talked about the simple random walk, we talked about how the chain goes from an odd state to an even state, to an odd state to an even state, to an odd state to an even state. And thus, if I were to ask you, uh, what's the chance the simple random walk is in a certain state at a time n in the future, one of the things you'd need to know is, is n or odd or even? Because that would really change your answer. So what we had in the simple random walk was a kind of periodicity property where we could only get from an even state to another even step in some multiple of two steps. So now we're going to look at that more generally because some Markov chains will have this periodic structure which we'll have to take into account. So let's look at the definition of what it means to be periodic. Okay, so the definition of period is this thing here. It's a greatest common divisor of all the n, such that PIIN is greater than zero. So uh, PIIN greater than zero means we can get from a state, the state i back to itself in n steps. That is possible because its probability is strictly greater than zero. So we take all the times at which we could get from i back to itself, and we take the greatest common divisor of those numbers. That's also, also known as a, as a highest common factor, if you've used that word before. So, for example, if you can get back from a state to itself in 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 steps, then the greatest common divisor of all those numbers is 5, and the period is 5. If you can get back to a state in... 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 steps, and the greatest common divisor of all those numbers is 2, and the period is 2, and so on. And there's this important distinction between is the period 1 or is the period not 1? If the period is 1, we say it's aperiodic, because we don't really see any periodic behaviour. You know, that greatest common divisor is 1, so none of those numbers have the same factor in common. Whereas if the di is greater than 1, that means there's a whole bunch of times we can't get back to ourselves. And so we do see some sort of periodic behaviour. So if the period is bigger than 1, we're called periodic. And if the period is equal to 1, we're called aperiodic. And obviously, if we're periodic, we do need to know about that. So we can bear that in mind when looking at the future of the state. Um, OK, uh, we need some examples here, don't we? Uh, what example do you think we're going to start with? Yes, that's right. We're going to start with the simple random walk. So we've already mentioned that uh, we have this odd even behavior, right? Which means that if we're trying to get from a state to itself in n steps when n is odd, it can't be done, right? Because if you imagine we're at an even state, our first step takes us to an odd state, and then we'll always be in an odd state at odd times. And similarly, if we're at an odd state, our first step takes us to an even state, and we'll always be in an even state at odd times. So when n is odd, we have PIIN equals 0. We can't get back in an odd number of steps. That's just not possible. On the other hand, for example, PII2, uh, we'd have to go either up and down and, or down then up. So that's 2PQ. And that's strictly bigger than 0, um, assuming that we're not in the stupid cases where p is 0 or 1. And so we've got the greatest common divisor of 2 and a bunch of other even numbers, but no odd numbers in there. So the period is 2 for all states. I. Because we're flipping between even and odd, even, odd, even, odd, and that gives us periodicity with period 2. Second example, can you guess what this is going to be? That's right, it's going to be the gambler's ruin. Well, for 0 and m, right, once we get there, we stay there, right? So p0, 0, zero just in one step equals 1, and p, m, m in one step equals 1. So that gives us a greatest common divisor of a bunch of things with a 1 in which means that d0 equals dm equals 1, and they are aperiodic. Remember, if something has period 1, we say it is aperiodic. On the other hand, for all the other states, 1, 2, dot, 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 to m minus 1, they're all like the simple random walk, right? Those states are flitting between odd and even, odd and even, odd and even, odd and even. So those have period 2 and are periodic. 
So in the gambler's ruin, those absorbing states are aperiodic, but the non-absorbing states are periodic with period 2. Here's a more interesting example here. Let's see what's going on here. Let's look at the right-hand side first. You can see here we've got this kind of cyclic behaviour, right, where we go from 5 to 6 to 7, to 5 to 6 to 7, to 5 to 6 to 7, all those steps with certainty. Right, so we've got a kind of cycle of length 3 going on there in the right-hand side. So that's period 3 over there. Right, because we can get from 5, and then it's going to take us 3 more steps to get to 5, and then 6, and then 9, and then 12, and then 15. And the greatest common divisor of all those is 3, because they're all divisible by 3. So all these states on the right-hand side have period 3. What about on the left-hand side? What's going on here? Note that none of these states have arrows to themselves. If you look, if you start at, say, 1, your next step is to 2 or 4, then your next step is to 1 or 3, then your next step is to 2 or 4, and your next step is 1 or 3. So we've got this uh, odd, even, odd, even, repetitive behaviour going on again over here, haven't we? So this is going to be period 2, for the same reason as we've got this odd, even, odd, even behaviour going on. So states 1, 2, 3, and 4 are periodic with period 2, and states 5, 6, and 7 are periodic with period 3. Actually, let's go back to what we were doing in the last section about communicating classes. What can we say about that? Well, we can say that 5, 6, and 7 all communicate with each other, but from 5 you can't get back to the left-hand side. So this is one communicating class over here. In fact, it's a closed communicating class. Whereas 1, 2, 3, and 4 all very obviously uh, communicate with each other, so that's a different communicating class over here, and that one's open. So everything in the left-hand class has period 2. And everything in the right-hand class has period 3. And actually, if we go back to Gambler's Ruin, note that everything in the class 0 was aperiodic, everything in the class M was aperiodic, and everything in this class, because remember, that was a class, has period 2. Similarly with the sam simple random walk, everything was in the same class, and everything has state 2. So what we seem to be say seeing here is that everything in the same class has the same period. It turns out that that is true in general. That's actually a, a theorem. So let's state it. Theorem. All states in the same class, in the same communicating class, let's be very specific, have the same period. So that means we can actually refer to the period of a class rather than the period of a state. And if we have an irreducible Markov chain, we can refer to the period of the whole Markov chain. We don't need to think about every state separately. Uh, so the proof of this theorem is a mandatory part of the course and is examinable, but I think I'll leave that in the notes for you to read yourself. The proof of this theorem is in the notes. that All states in the same communicating class have the same period, so we can refer to the period of the class, or for an irreducible chain, we can refer to the period of the whole Markov chain itself.